again. Today we're going to do something a little different. No can of food this time. We're going to go somewhere in the superhero genre. Superman. In reality, Bob Ross has a much bigger palette. He even points out that you should probably have a bigger palette. It seems like it would be a lot better, right? Look at this shit. Got a really huge one. Hey everybody, how's it going? Bob Ross here. Check out my big fucking palette of paint here. You can get yourself one of these at uh, my uh, freaking online store. Uh, weird novelty crap at you gotta be freaking kidding me dot com. Boom! If you act now, I'll get you one of these things, huh? Remember these things? I think the official name for one of these things is the Delroy Lindo Fun Ball. Today's theme is obviously going to be, like I said before, Superman, superheroes. Who doesn't know superheroes? Any nerd is out there knows how Superman is, and you can clearly see that I am somewhat of a nerd. I have all this credit. Action Comics, number one. DC to Marvel to lame-ass forgotten superheroes like Puma Man. It all started here in 1938, when this comic book hit the stands, or whatever, however they sold things back in 1938. And this, now iconic, and I can use that word properly because it is, this is an iconic com comic book cover, it's so iconic that it sold for over, uh, a near mint copy sold for over three million dollars not that long ago. There's very few existing copies of original copies from 1938 that are still around in really good condition. One that I read about was owned by Nicolas Cage and he actually managed to somehow get it stolen from him. As for myself, when I think of Superman, it's, I, I grew up with Christopher Reeve's Superman, with Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor. Lex, my mother lived in Hackman Lex freaking Luthor, people. Excuse me. That's a What I'm gonna do is paint this time that iconic cover. That Superman number one cover. I'm gonna do a painting of it. So, here we go. I'm going to pencil sketch this out first, so... It's not easy to see on camera, but I actually am drawing these lines in here. They're more of what you call guidelines, as opposed to actual rules. The iconic car from the iconic comic book cover. Iconically known, iconically all around the iconic planet. I'm going to draw the iconic car being held up by the iconic Superman, his first iconic appearance. Iconic! What the hell happened? We got a ranger back? What the hell is going on out there? Fly. Don't look. Just fly. We got something. I'm saying what it is. Just trust me. Hey, oh, I don't know if this giant ass fucking thing is gonna work out for me. I can't really fit in this little area with this thing. He had a huge studio, didn't he? Bastard. Alright, I'm gonna try something different. Ah, back to the regular one.
looks like a produce, you know. It's just a wraparound. Are we going to Paris Ababa?
crucial color in this painting, the black. The black is going is going to bring everything to life because initially that's what it was. It was a drawing in black ink, then colored in. <laughs>
speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. That about does it. I'm proud of it. I don't want to add any more to it, overdo it, as usually you would do. I mean, there's, there's little details I'm not 100% proud of, but you know, some of the angles aren't as exact as the one, the original, but I'm going to put my signature in now, which clarifies I am friggin' dumb. Well, there you have it. Action Comics number one. It's quite the undertaking. $400, not a penny less. From tonight, it's going up in the uh, Spaghetti Museum with all my other fine works. Well, until next time, this has been Eddie Spaghetti for Eddie Spaghetti Presents Painting with Spaghetti. Mwah. Adios, folks. Bye. -bye.